All right, let's solve another FE exam question. Here's what the question states. Antifreeze is a mixture of 50% water and 50% ethylene glycol, and thereby volume. Okay, this, this ratio is by volume. If the specific gravity of the antifreeze is 1.055, find the specific weight of ethylene glycol. Okay, and these are our choices. A, B, C, D, as you can see over here. Okay, so at first, I think this question looks a little bit complicated, but, well, let's see how we can approach this. Okay, there are two approaches. The first thing is to go ahead and convert this into density and do a whole analysis by density. But I did a question before with density, so I'm going to do another approach, which is I will convert everything to specific gravity, because this is what's given to me, and see what happens. Okay, now, specific gravity is given as basically 1.055, right? So that will be the density of mixture divided by density of water at 4 degrees C, right? Coming from 176th page of the reference manual. Okay, let's proceed. So let's look at the density of mixture over here. And the density of mixture will be the masses are added right always so I'm gonna add because these are liquids incompressible so I'm gonna add M ethylene glycol plus M of water divided by the volume that it occupies right and divided by the density of water at 40 degrees C is defined by M vo water divided by the volume right so you can see from here that these volumes cancel each other and I got myself as G is equal to M ethylene glycol plus M water divided by M water. The next step is basically I know that this occupies 0.5 V. If the volume of the entire mixture is V, the 0.5 V is ethylene glycol and I know that 0.5 V is also the water, right? So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it this way then as I know that so the Specific gravity will be equal to the density. So basically, I'm using density is equal to mass divided by volume, right? So density of ethylene glycol, and what is the volume of it? That will be 0.5 volume plus density of water, which again from page 176 is 1000 kilogram per meter cube times the, again, same 0.5 V divided by mass of water is basically this thousand kilogram per meter cube times the whole volume you can see in here let's see what i'm gonna get so this is gonna be 1.055 will be equal to density of ethylene glycol is being asked you can see over here the volumes cancel right and i get myself times 05 plus this is 500 thousand times 0 0.5 is 500 divided by thousand so then if i move this to over here i'm going to get 1555 is equal to density of ethylene glycol times 0 0.5 plus 500 and then from here basically density of ethylene glycol will be equal to 1055 minus 500 is 555 times 2 right and from here i get myself density of ethylene glycol is 1110 if i'm not making a mistake here one, one, yep uh, kilogram per meter cube okay so now um you can see that you may be mistakenly mark d right let's be careful about what the question is asking question is asking in terms of the specific weight and i always recommend looking at the units that is given you can see this is not uh, densities units okay and uh, I look at again page 176 and I convert this this way so specific weight is equal to density times gravity density is 1100 1110 kilogram per meter cube times the gravity will be 9.81 meter per second square right so from here you will get yourself 10889 what is the units well, it's beyond the scope for an FE exam, but obviously you can see from here that um, I'm going to get Newton per meter cube, and I'll show you how to get it as well. And 
can see this is acceleration, right? This is the acceleration, and this is the M, right? MA is force, which is Newton, Newton per meter cube, right? So, anyways, going up here, you can see that this is the closest choice that I have. Okay, thank you for watching this video.